Hey, what's up, YouTube? Today, I'm just going to be showing y'all how I made this little chest piece out of walnut wood on the mini lathe. I'm also going to be showing how I made the base to put it on, too. So you can either stick around or skip to the end product. I listed the timestamp on screen, but yeah, I think that's going to do it. Let's hop right into this. Now first what I gotta do is I gotta carve it out into a cylindrical shape. And then from there I can kinda carve out the bottom of the chest piece. Now I wanna leave a chunk of wood on the top so I can carve out the snout of the horse. But now that I'm done with all the cutting and the carving, I can just sand it and take it off now. So with the two parts on the end that I didn't need, I just kind of cut them down real thin, so I can just twist those off. No effort required. There you have it, the bottom of the chest piece is done. Here's the little design I went with, if you're curious, or if you want to use it for yourself. I really don't care that much, you can use it for whatever. But yeah, all that's really left of the chest piece is just carving out the head and the snout, the ears, the mane, all that. So I'll just let the montage roll. I'm done with the sanding, the carving, the drilling, all that crap. I've got this done. I think it looks pretty good. So now let's just move on to the chessboard base. So I got these little squares that I cut up and I'm gonna glue them together to make the chessboard design. And I know you're probably thinking the bottoms look horrible, they're uneven, they're not flat at all. Now I'm gonna get to that in a little bit, but just, just trust the process, all right? Well, the bottom side is obviously horrible, uneven, just plain terrible. The top is perfectly flat because I pressed it directly into the table. My plan is to cut it with a hacksaw along the lines that I drew. Sorry about the wind chimes in the back, but I got this part all done. I just got to attach the sides. Alright, so obviously the bottom still looks like straight garbage. The top's okay-ish looking, but that's just because I haven't sanded this thing yet. So let's sand this piece of crap. Also forgot to mention this, but I trimmed the corners too. Anyway, right now I'm just going to be making four little pegs. One to put in each corner of the base. Now, I forgot to record the part where I put them on the base, but you'll be able to see them at the end product. Now that the pegs are done, I'm just going to sand the sides of the base. Alright, I'm 
I'm just gonna pause real quick. So I like doing stupid things, okay? So that's why I created this makeshift belt sander thing. I don't know what the hell. But um yeah, I just glued a piece of sandpaper to a piece of wood and then I threw it on the lathe. As you can see the sandpaper's kinda fallen off, but other than that it worked out pretty well. Alright, it's all smooth now. I can just glue it on there and boom. Not much else to be said. Now that all the sides are flat and everything is sanded, I completed the last step, which was applying polyurethane. Now, another thing I didn't show was I filled up the bottom with a little paste I made from wood glue and sawdust, and then I sanded so the bottom is all flat now. And you can also see the pegs in each of the corners. But yeah, I think it turned out really cool. I love the grain and the walnut. And I mean, it's a night on a chessboard. That's sick, dude. But yeah, that's going to do it. Thank you for watching. I'm going to create more of these little statues, so stick around if you're interested in that. Thank you for watching. See ya. Adios.